Hello there! I love nature and that includes clean and safe environment. From here, see you in my next videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Crisilda Flores at Chris Miyasako. Hello there! In today's video, we'll visit a typical Japanese community near our neighborhood, Homidanchi. They are our Japanese neighbors. But as you can see in the video, it seems no one is seen on the streets or just even outside their homes. As of recording this video, it was already 6.30 in the evening. While walking and taking a video, I could hear small voices coming from some houses. I guessed some of them were preparing dinner as sounds of kitchen utensils clattering could be heard. Some maybe were relaxing after a long and busy day. Or others have not gone home yet. Actually, this is not my first time to be visiting this area and even other Japanese communities. There's no difference at all. Quiet, clean, orderly, serene, and generally peaceful. Most of their houses have beautiful and well-trimmed ornamental plants. They really love this. They spend time in nurturing and taking care of their plants. In fact, there's no extra space that can't be utilized for plants. They don't think twice if they want to buy more plants to replace the old ones. They really obey community rules and regulations. Like for example, in disposing their garbage, everything must be segregated before this will be brought to the garbage area as scheduled. Teams, cans, and bottles have different schedule from biodegradable ones. Newspapers and magazines must be neatly folded and tied up to avoid scattering when it's time to put away. They clean their own surrounding, back and front, and side by side. They have to participate if there is a clean and drive campaign in the community. It's one of the events that neighbors see each other, and the other event is during a matsuri or festival. Everyone is expected to respect others' privacy. Japanese are known for having high regard for privacy, especially when it comes to their families. When you play something like music or television, the sound should be minimized just within the four corners of your house. You cannot just park your car anywhere, except for emergency situations. Most of their houses have both the traditional design and presence of modern technology. They might still be having the tatami for flooring and sliding doors, but they still have the ultra-modern appliances and toilets. Others have already adopted the Western-inspired designs and built-in system, but still have the classic Japanese doors and floorings. When you enter a house, you should take off your shoes at the Genkan area. It's a small area, a step lower than the living room. Even how old a Japanese house, it has the modern doorbells intercoms and smoke detector devices. In my decade-long stay in our neighborhood, there was never an instance of any commotion or whatsoever caused by neighbors' disputes or anything else. They are literally peace-loving people. This is one of the reasons why I love to visit any Japanese community because I feel so relaxed and refreshed with everything nice that I'm seeing.